One bowl pumpkin cheesecake. It's easier than you think. First, assemble all of your ingredients and have them ready. Don't forget your cheesecake pan. The next thing you're going to do is take the Zwieback crackers, empty them into the bowl of your food processor, that's the one bowl, and crush them into fine crumbs. I'd already started this when I realized I wanted to show you the full process, so there you go, I'm repeating it for you. Whiz those crackers around until you have a very fine crumb base, and then you're going to add six tablespoons of butter to the crumbs. Save the end of the stick of butter for greasing that cheesecake pan. Okay, now add those six tablespoons of butter. Just cut them up right into the bowl of your food processor like I'm doing here. The butter does not have to be room temperature. It's best if it's a little bit warmed from the fridge, but even if it's completely cold, it will work. All right, now put the lid back on and just turn the food processor on full. You don't even have to pulse. There you go. You're going to end up with a very nice crumb base. Fine crumbs, all nice and moist and coated with butter, with the butter fully incorporated. Then you're going to press it into the bottom of your cheesecake pan and up the sides a bit. Don't worry about making it thin, just somewhat uniform. Put that cheesecake pan in the refrigerator while we do the next step. You're going to take your pumpkin, and your cream cheese, put it back into the processor bowl. Note we didn't wash it out, we didn't even have to wipe it out, we just took all the crumbs out, put them in the pan, and put the food processor bowl back on the base. Now, after you've got the pumpkin and cream cheese mixed up a bit, add your brown sugar and your white sugar. Put the lid back on. It gets a little messy maybe at the edge, that's okay. You're still only dirtying one bowl. Turn the processor back on and then you're going to take the eggs and you're going to break the eggs right into the food processor one at a time. My food processor has what's called a feed tube so that we can just break the egg one at a time directly into the feed tube while the food processor is on. You can also do this in a large mixer such as a, oh, a KitchenAid for example but it works best for us with our food processor. Here you go. Now after the eggs you're going to add the cream, the heavy cream, and the pumpkin pie spice. You only use a little bit of that container of cream. You want to put the rest back in the refrigerator and save it to make homemade whipped cream to serve with your pumpkin cheesecake. Oh, that is just so good. All right, we're turning the food processor back on now. This is actually the last step for the filling. When this is all fully mixed, and you're going to want to make sure and scrape it down every so often, and then turn it back on so that you can make sure all the ingredients are well mixed, then you're going to pour it right into that cheesecake pan with the crumb base. Okay, now go get the cheesecake pan from the refrigerator. There it is. Just take it out from the fridge. The crumb crust is nice and, and somewhat set now. That's because it's been chilled, so that's helped make the butter harden again. Now just take the bowl off the base of the food processor and pour that filling right into the crust. There you go. Make sure that you don't let the blade fall into the pan. I'm holding it with my finger. Now take your scraper and scrape the sides of the bowl to get the rest of the filling in. And now I just use the end of the scraper to hold that blade up. There you go. Now you're going to put the cheesecake into the oven and while it's baking rinse out that bowl. You don't even have to wash it. You can just rinse it really well with hot water and then wipe it out with a paper towel or let it air dry if it will in time. There's the cheesecake just before it goes into the oven. Now while it's in the oven you're going to warm up six more tablespoons of butter. I like to do that on top of my stove where the cheesecake's baking and there's the bowl of the processor it's been rinsed and wiped and now we're going to make the crumb topping put in your brown sugar put in your tablespoon six tablespoons of butter and then you're going to add your walnuts now a caution do not turn your processor on full you're going to pulse this that means turning it on and off very quickly most food processors have a pulse button on ours 
the off button is also the pulse button. And of course, if you spill any walnuts on the counter, those are for eating. There we go. See how I'm pulsing it? Just, you want to get it into a nice crumb texture. It's going to break up the walnuts a bit, incorporate the butter as crumbs, but you don't want to process it over too much, over process it. There's the cheesecake from the oven. You take it out of the oven. You gently pour the crumbs on top. There you go. You want to distribute it evenly across the top. I tend to start on the outside and go towards the middle last because I'm worried about the weight of the crumbs on the center of that cheesecake. I have no reason to be, it's just what I do. I, I've never had the, the center collapse, but that's just what I do. Okay, now you put that cheesecake back in the oven to let the topping set. And while you do that, you clean up. It's an easy cleanup. You have only one bowl to clean up. And there is the finished cheesecake. Let it cool completely before you unmold it. Put it in the refrigerator for a few hours at least. And there you go. One bowl pumpkin cheesecake. So good.